Christmas episode. <laughs> Ito na ba yung Christmas episode natin? I guess mga up to mga next week, 22 or 23. Mm. So, ito na yun. Mamaya, darating si si Buddy sa bala dito sa bahay. Meron kaming may Christmas show kami. <laughs> corporate, corporate event. Or, or not, hindi ako sure eh. Pero, it's a show for Bacolod. Konting songs lang eh. Parang two songs lang eh. Nice. Speaking of ano, gift giving, mm. yung guest pala natin na padalan na ulit ng ng sponsor natin for this episode ng bread. Sa, ng sourdough. May nagtanong yeah. sa akin. Alam mo siya nagtanong sa akin noong isang araw kasi pinost ko. Tinanong oh. ako ni Blaster. Oh. Sabi ko, is it sourdough? Yes, it's sourdough. Darren, eto ba yun? Uh. <laughs> Harina! Oh, Iba yung texture niya talaga eh, no? Parang mm-hmm. high-end, handmade talaga. High-end naman to ah. Di parang, <laughs> ko lang na parang, uh, usually kasi, di ba, yung mga yung nabibili natin sa supermarket or sa mall, hindi na siya ganun ka-fresh. Oo oh, nga. Iba talaga yung na-deliver sa'yo ng maayos, ah, ng maaga, tsaka yung fresh pa siya. Ito na yung breakfast at lunch ko. Nakaka-tempt nga siya gawing ano yun. Eh, parang kanin na parang, okay, sourdough na lang ako. Nagising kasi ako ng maaga, kaya aga kita na text. Kaya makabalik sa, sa tulog. So nag-bike ako. Saan ka pumunta? Marikina lang. Dito lang. Isang oras. Tapos pagkabalik ko, nakatulog ako. Tapos may meeting ako. Tapos itong podcast na natin. So, gutom na gutom ako, kaya eh, inapot, eh, nagtitape tayo ngayon, lunchtime na eh. No. Kasi di ba, pag lumabas naman to midnight eh. Pero, ito, yung current real time natin is noon. noon so, yeah. gutom na gutom na ako. Sakto. Pwede rin na snack sa mga nanonood ng midnight. <laughs> Oo. Pinifreeze ko to darin eh, kasi para hindi masira. Yun Pinifreeze. nga daw yung technique, kailangan i-freeze yung bread. Anyway, ikaw, kumusta ka? Anong kakabalahan mo? Uh, medyo busy konti sa office kasi Christmas. So medyo nagpipick up konti yung business natin. Pero syempre, although hindi pa rin same sa dati, but at least somehow nag-show tayo ng signs of economic recovery. Medyo nakakatawa lang rin konti. Anong guitars ang malakas ngayon? Acoustic o electric? Usually acoustic talaga eh. Kasi acoustic talaga. anybody can pick it up anytime sa bahay lang and then, mm-hmm. you know, play. Ikaw, may, ma- may maganda akong kwento ng acoustic guitar eh. Oh. Nasa Boracay ako minsan with a, with a songwriting camp, parang ganun. So, corporate, corporate songwriting camp. So, nandun si Ebe, Si Myro, si Aya, si Mark Escueta. You know, uh, the usual suspects. Tapos, after nung, nung clinic, syempre nakatambay kami sa isang bar. So, may gitara. So, yung gitara lumilipat-lipat lang, di ba? Hmm. Tapos, lumilipat. Tapos, si Myro may kakantahin. Si Ebe may kakantahin. Si Aya may kakantahin. Tapos, si kami ni Mark Escueta may... May percussion doon na nakatambay, mga djembe, di ba, tumutugtog. May dalawa foreigners, sabi ng dalawa foreigners, Are you guys in the same band? Are you guys in a band? Oh. Sabi namin, in, sabi namin, no, of course, siyempre, di ba kami magkabanda, di ba? Sabi, oh my God, all Filipinos can sing. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi niya naiintindihan na, siyempre, si Eve yun, maganda yun. Tapos kahit anong i-request niya eh. British kasi, so sabi, can you play Oasis? Siyempre, di ba? Para, just, can you play Radiohead? <laughs> Parang para kung pumunta ka sa US, tapos napunta ka sa NBA type na pickup game, parang, oh my God, lahat sila magaling magbasket. <laughs> Lila, di ba? Parang ganun. Parang, oh my God, you guys can all play guitar and you, all Filipinos can. Tapos sabi ko, you know, all Filipinos can sing. Sabi ko na sa <laughs> 
<laughs> so wasak na wasak sila kahit anong eh ano pa to so mga siguro 15 years ago so alam pa namin yung current songs di ba parang i mean nako cover mo pa kasi yun yung diba? para on rotation din na pinapakinggan oh parang bago pa i mean current pa yung Oasis noon and Radiohead and Blur di ba ngayon kasi hindi ko alam kung yung kids talaga nagko-cover pa. Eh. Nagko-cover pa ba yung kids ngayon? I think so. Para pa naman na no. Yung I think yung medyo trend ngayon yung nagko-cover sila ng mga may hirap na gen. Ah, uh, okay, may ganun din ano. Parang Polifia, mga ganun. Wala lang sa radar ko yung iba lang rin talaga eh. Oo, oh, oh, oh. wala rin talaga. Oo oh, nga no, meron ngayon ano, instrument covers uso, drums na mahirap. Wala so, tang pulido, plakado. Oh, oh. Yeah. Tama, tama. Nakakita din ako ng mga covers ng mga bagong artist. Tama, tama. Anyway, sinong guest natin ngayon? So yung guest natin today uh, is the vocalist of of one of the uh, best I would say ex- Uh, punk and parang experimental but lahat lahat na rin uh, they started the the genre of rap kind of kicked off the genre ng rap core dito same with slap shock nung time na yun yung mga parang core na staples na pinapakinggan ko um other than that parang i think his voice is unique and uh, wala parang nung lumabas yung single nila na Paris parang sobrang kakaiba yung yung dating sa radyo kasi parang mataas yung voice tapos hindi but mabigat pa rin at the same time i think yun naman yung talagang yun yung ano niya uh, yun yung description for his vocal style so uh, without further ado uh, our guest for today is uh, the vocalist of Chica Sai Miggy Chavez Hi, Miggy. Uh, hello, hello. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. First off, Miggy, thank you for sending that video sa patlak ng sandwich, ha? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. May lip sync mo pa, ha? Tsaka may pusa. <laughs> that, was, that, was, uh, that was my dog, Phil. <laughs> Ay, aso pala, pusa. As, aso. <laughs> Tawa ko ng tawa. Ako nag-edit eh. Nung nakita ko sa ko, I gotta put this in. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, hindi ba dapat lip sync yun? Mali ba yun? <laughs> Hindi, okay. Lip sync na may dog. Saan ka na, di ba? <laughs> Alright. Okay. Th- well, thanks for asking. For for letting me be part of it. <laughs> oh, Kasi no. yung, yung ano yun eh. Ay, sorry. Remember those? Ay, sorry. Akala Remember... ko yung pod. Sorry. Ay, sorry, sorry. Yun din. Siyempre yun din. Ha. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Remember nung back in the day, pag after Christmas, we all go to Nix's house sa sa QC, di ba, to hang out? To La Vista, just, yeah. Yeah, or just to hang out in his house. Just to hang out. <laughs> oh, yun ang tambahin. Pero That's yun na, na, usually pa, after after a family Christmas thing, di ba, magdadala, mm-hmm. magdadala tayo ng leftovers. Tapos yeah. na tambay till ano na, sunrise. That's why you had to be in that song. Kasi okay, yun yun. That, okay. Kaya, kaya nandun si Nix. Kaya nandun si Nix. That's about yeah. Nix's house. Anyway, go Darren. <laughs> Darren. So, musta? Anong, nice what have we been up to nung quarantine? Uh, basic. Basically, para since I, you, you guys are asking what have you been up to the whole year, you know? <laughs> <laughs> diba? I mean, well, wait, are you seeing what I'm doing? Okay. 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 Because uh, I I don't know if you know this, but like the past that was the last gigs na uh, I've been playing guitar, and uh, yun, I've been playing your guitar, Reigns. <laughs> from the left, from the left-handed the left version. From from you guys, Darren. <laughs> I've been playing that one. Um, yeah, I've been practicing, uh, learning songs, then writing, writing. 
uh, wala eh. I mean, there are no gigs. So, go ahead, kanta. Saka, uh, ano, mag-start na rin actually yung NBA season. In a... Yun! Sa pa yun. <laughs> <laughs> Ang pilis eh, no? Grabe, parang after nung bubble. Mag-start fastest, na yung... Fastest turn around eh. But yeah, I, I, I managed to catch a couple uh, Lakers games. No, hindi, hindi hindi ko alam kung kung nang-aasar ka o natutuwa ka na nag-champion yung team mo, Miggy. Pag binabasa ko yung tweet mo na <laughs> hindi ko nakikita yung mukha mo, galit kaya siya <laughs> o masaya? <laughs> masaya, masaya. I mean, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. for, the, for the longest time, all at sing Lakers eh. So, uh, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not the biggest LeBron fan. I, if, if you've been following, alam niyo yun, but uh, team team first, fan. Team first. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so how did you get into, ano, parang and, and, um, Lakers? Liking the Lakers growing up, ganun. Um, naalala, kasi dati, nung 90s, di ba, everyone was Jordan. Mm-hmm. Jordan fans. Tapos, pero ako, ayaw, like everyone liked him. I'm like, ayaw, yan. Lahat kayo. You know, like, <laughs> snot nosed kid. Like, say, ayaw, lahat kayo. May, lahat kayo gusto niyo. Eh. So, nalala ko yung final sa uh, Lakers versus Bulls. That's the, uh, yung gumawa si Jordan. Tapos, nidadunk niya. Tapos, binali niya na, ginawa niyang layup bigla yung classic na shot na yan. So, pero na, ako nanalo yung Lakers ng first game. Lakers? And tutok ako. But we, but we all know what happened. <laughs> Talo. So, but uh, ayun, ever since, yung 90s talaga, yun, uh, nag-follow ako. Pero, nawala din, but eventually, like, with the, the emergence of the internet, you can watch everything, you can, uh, so, Oh, no. Tuloy-tuloy na. Tuloy-tuloy na. But then again, nagkaroon ng mga dark days eh. Nung, nung when Kobe was uh, on his way out. Tapos yung mga players sila, sila, sila Bobby Sacre, the Robert Kelly. So, wala eh. Bulitan lang niya. <laughs> wala talaga eh. But, I, but I, I, every team has to go through that. Uh, mga dark days mm-hmm. then. <laughs> but yeah, champions ulit. Tell us, about, ah, go, go, go. <laughs> Tell us about your, ano, ito hindi ko talaga alam. Saan ka, saan ka lumaki? Diyan na ba talaga sa San Juan and where did you go to school? Well, no, um, I, I didn't grow up in San Juan. Um, Doon na sa may school area. Oh, QC. Uh, yeah, QC. Sa mga ito. Sa, ano, 75F, Scott Lozano. <laughs> that was uh, my address. Uh, yun. Uh, tapos, di ba yung ano, uh, yung sa, sa may Tomas Morato area, ang dami nang nangyayari, di ba? Mm-hmm. Ang dami nang, like, everything's there. Rest, so many restaurants, so like, mga bars, clubs. Dati walang-wala talaga yun. Naalala ko, dati mga Hey, I was talking to uh, my girlfriend the other day. I was we were talking about yung mga lechon manok na ihawan na yun yung mga andoks baliwag ganun type. Pero dati nung sa Tomas Morato may isa na the best lechon manok. J and L. J and L lechon manok. And we used to get there, like Sunday lunch there. Then yung kami bibili. So, but now wala na yung mga ganun na establishments, yung mga small yeah. kiosks lang na ano eh. But now there's all that, there's, there's Jollibee, there's Coffee Bee, there's all that. So, uh, tapos yun, um, where did I go to school? I went to school eh, Ateneo. All the way? All the way, all the way. Uh, yeah, my, my dad went to Ateneo. So, yun, sunod ako. Uh, Prep to college. So, nothing How's... that 
interesting there. <laughs> how, how is the how is the music in in at home? At home, ah, yeah. Uh, na expose ako early on, kasi well, yung mga tito ko, my 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 mom's brothers. Ano yung mga naikinig sila sa mga new wave. Uh, like, uh, ano pa yung mga pinata? Well, I, I naalala ko yung mga Duran Duran, um, Spando, stuff like that. Uh, and then, tapos yung, yung dad ko naman, uh, he was in a band. Oh, he, he played cool. in bands throughout uh, high school and college. Actually, lahat nga ginawa niya eh. He was... He, Singer din? No, no. I think he did everything eh. Like, um, he played drums. He played bass. Uh, sure, he played guitar. So, ayun. And, uh, they, sa bahay, they'd listen to, uh, he'd listen to Dave Clark Five. Mm. Uh, the Beatles, of course. Uh, that was pretty listen to. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, yung mga classic uh, albums dito sa bahay. Hey, the Doors, man, yeah, man, come in, yeah, tapos. Tapos me being you know, curious, like ask, asking that, uh, ano bang okay pahinggan? Yeah. So one day when I was very very young, he took me to uh, Makati Cinema Square. Mm-hmm. Tapos we bought uh, Jimi Hendrix, Are You Experienced, and uh, Led Zepp IV, and then, <laughs> and I. Yeah, naging rockers ako. <laughs> <laughs> and then he he list uh, he lend me the yung classical guitar dito sa bahay. But the problem is left-handed ako. So we yeah. had to restring it. We had to restring it. But the thing is in in pag sa in sa atin eh kasi uso yung magdadala ng gitara to sa class. And, tapos ako naman Pero medyo nagdi-digress na tayo. Pero ako naman, like, hindi ako nagdadala. Pero mahiram ako. But of course, my classmates would be right-handed. So I learned kahit, kahit pa paano to play. Uh, left-handed pa rin yung position, pero yung strings pang right. So, so dapat pataas yung <laughs> But yeah, ayun. Pa- paano mo na-discover na like uh, you wanted to sing or how did how did you come across uh, being a vocalist kasi since guitar yung una mong instrument like yeah um well it was more of no one would no one wanted to do it <laughs> <laughs> like uh and si si Mong, like he would he start guitar talaga diba eh, sa nung high school kami. Although nap- napanood kayo yung episode nga, yung kay Mong, took me, <laughs> took me back. <laughs> Nung nakikinig ako, di ba? Like, he was talking about yung history ng band. Oo nga, no? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yun nga, inaako na yun, di ba? Like, oh, guitar ako. Oh, ang gagawin. Sige, let's do, uh, let's, let's, let's try it. So what's yeah, your uh, what's your version? What's your version on meeting meeting sina your bandmates for the first time? Um, Mong, before the band, before the band, ano, before the band, anong, anong dynamic yun as as Mo- kids, as as students? Okay, uh, Mong was my classmate nung prep pa lang. So I know he said I know he told you guys, but he is my oldest friend. Like <laughs> uh, prep. Tapos, Did you get along right away? Um, I don't think we were like super, like best friends. That, but you know, ano man. Pero nung nung high school, kasi four years ka, four years kayo magkasama eh, pag high school. Uh, pero nung yung sa grade school man prep. Tapos, I don't think it was my classmate again till grade seven, and then high school ulit, so in four years. And then, yeah, naging close kami. Uh, 
we'd listen to music, we'd, we'd discover, and eventually, yun nga, naging magkabanda kami. Uh, yun nga, nagdajamming kami sa garage niya. Yan, and uh, we brought Joel and Calde along. And recruit. <laughs> Tapos, but yeah, Joel wasn't our original drummer. I think he mentioned that in episode, you know. And uh, yeah, we, and then eventually we met Sunny through uh, Cheat of Slapshot. And uh, rest in peace, uh, Jameer. Rest in peace. And then, uh, yeah, we got Yug na neighbor ni Calde sa Bliss. Oh. Yeah. Pero hindi siya Ateneo High School. Ano siya? And then, wait, college na pala kami ng Chico Sai. Pero kami ni Mong talaga. Kami ni Mong ni Nakalde. And then, yeah, eventually we got, nung nag-college na, eventually we got in si Yug, who was from UP. So, uh, and then we got Sunny. And then there. I know, I, I, alam ko kalat ako magkwento ng ng history namin but that's basically it and then we eventually signed to EMI yeah, with Boss Bob <laughs> of the boyfriends so habang writing the revenge of the giant robot ano yung mga experiences would you say na parang uh, most memorable to you writing uh I think is it like when when band when young bands like they start writing their first their first record, young influences na they really shine. <laughs> they really come come to na. Because kami nung we were heavily heavily influenced by Corn, uh, Deftones, uh, especially nung uh, na ito namin yung home video ng Slipknot. Uh, so what the title? But yeah, like I saw that oh, you so you so much suka backstage, mga yeah, yeah, yeah. oh god, that's nasty. So, so every day, come in like kids impressionable. Angas yan. Go atay lang ganyan. Go atay lang ganyan. Like ang angas sa sumusuka. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, like, go atay ng ganyan. Why? Like, you may percussion style. We also had a DJ at one point. Sino? So, Sino? Ah, uh, si B-Boy. He laid ah, down si B-Boy. tracks. B-Boy, okay. He laid down tracks on the first album. Okay. Yeah. Si B-Boy of, Ch- of Queso. Queso, yeah. There's a video so, of the Sinker Sim, I think. Or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yun. Uh, so, pag pinahingan mo, ah, okay, so, kinuha nyo ito, kinuha nyo ito dito. <laughs> but I think that's, I think that's pretty normal when you're like, we were just excited to write and record because you know like when you're in high school you just you want to you just want to play you just want to meet girls <laughs> through your through, through the who playing in bands and battle lang so you mag battle of the bands uh tapos kasi batch batchmate namin si Nino from Hounds tapos he ano he tell us about yeah tumugtog kami sa dread <laughs> <laughs> what so kami naman possibly pala yun mm-hmm. <laughs> like we always uh, uh, me person i always thought na i don't think i there like di pa hindi tayo abot diyan you know like i always thought like it was you guys dreams like kayo lang yung tumutugtog doon and like <laughs> Kaya wala pa ang konsepto ng mga prod night. <laughs> you know? But yeah, like, we always, ah, oh, like, hen heads, like, Wolfgang would play there. Like, like tayo. Yun. So, pero na yun, yeah. nakwento nga ni Nino na, who's our age? Yeah, big tugtog kami sa John. Oh, seriously? Like, okay. <laughs> Let's do that. So, medyo yung, kumbaga yung goals namin. Like, I think that's how it is. Like, you know, you, First off, you want to play, you know, you want to make a song or you want to play here. You want to play here. You want to get your song on the radio. 
So, like, learning na, oh, pwede pa. Like, yung mga possibilities pala. Okay, I can do that. And then, like, and then Hounds got a record deal. So, kami naman, pwede! <laughs> But we were, we were never the most talented na. We were, but, like, but that was a, that was a great batch of, of bands in Ateneo at the time. Sino pa yung iba? That, so, there's Chico Sai, There's uh, ayun lumabas nung era na yon not necessarily same year but mm-hmm. there's Chico Siders the Hounds there's um, the Itchy Worms who else was in your band? um oh like oh, contemporaries contemporaries Contem- I I always said na I always say na yung Ateneo scene na ang ganda ng scene ng Ateneo kasi ang daming lumabas from 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 either link ng high school kami or like college There was us, and then yeah, Nina from Hans. Um, yeah, the Itchy Worms. The Worms. Shudad. Shudad. Um, Sponge, uh, baka sabay nyo? They're Kasi, younger. Ah, they're, they're younger. younger batch. Okay. Yeah, you got Sponge. Tapos, uh, Sina Jason. Cabal, yeah. Twisted yes. Halo. Twisted Halo. Uh, tapos, um, the first uh, version of Sandwich, Mark. Oh yeah, of course. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nakalimutan ko eh. <laughs> at inista ka pala si Mark yes. at si Mong. After Mark, si Mong is yes. at ineo. Okay. Kasama kami Tapos, sa batch na yun. Yes. And then, um, Dick the License. Um, what's a, uh, Why would you say that? Is it, I have a theory. Correct mm-hmm. me if I'm wrong. Is it because the, wala nito sa UP nung panahon namin but later on, Uh, the younger batch, meron na silang parang music clubs. May music mm-hmm. orgs. So, nandiyan na yung mga sina O Flamingo yan. Galing na yan sa UP na mga music orgs. Sa Ateneo, may Ateneo Musicians Pool or AMP. Yeah, yeah. Is that a big uh, reason? Kaya very, very healthy and diverse yung scene nung time na yun? Uh, or, or something else? I don't know. Like, for me personally, I, I, I th- I was a member of AMP for like maybe a year or two, but I was never active, so I didn't know this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know what I'm seeing nila don, but I think I think it came from the like, di ba na kwento ano high school pa lang nagdadala na kami ng gitara. Okay. Minsan magdad yung isang mga klase minsan nagdala siya ng drum set. Ah, uh, yung mga ah. Uh, yung mga upper sa upper batch namin ng high school eh nagdadala sila ng amp tapos yung mga rich kid dala sila ng amp tapos may wireless pa sila wala namang yaya na taga buhat ng amp ano? wala <laughs> probably the driver will pick up <laughs> the na i don't know but ayun tapos i think it, it came from that din na okay. tuloy-tuloy na kasi tapos pinayagan yun, ng mga ng mga pare walang problema pwede, sa pare pwede naman bring a pwede, drum pwede. set bring amps yeah, even if yeah. it's heavy music kasi heavy music yung time na yun eh it's yeah pero they siguro well, most of most mostly naman classical na or acoustic yung dinadala okay but uh, pero yung mga yung nga yung nagdadala na app pwede naman yung pag dismissal <laughs> or like okay, launch okay. So yeah, I think nag-carry over naman yun kasi nung college, we like my friends would bring then guitars as a bench pag pag break time mo, pwede ka mag-jam doon. Yan. Yeah. Although that that's probably cause like I hung out with the mga mga rockers. <laughs> like <laughs> like uh Tina Eric Perlas uh, of Tower of Doom. Yun, pare kaming uh, same same batch yan. No, uh, Eric's uh, batch higher. Okay. Come na ano yes of tag na officer din namin nung ROTC <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> yeah ako ah, ah, ito white boy eh ito pare uh, so nung first in freshman kami recruitment din eh ng sa RO wala naman kami balak gusto namin yung regular cadet lang kami kasi we don't want we don't want the extra work man <laughs> oh, pero <laughs> <laughs> Pero doon, General Assembly yun. So, nilapit na kami nila, Eric, nila Garon, Onasan. And... Well, si Garon, may hat. Onasan. <laughs> <laughs> ano sila? Uh, honor Guards. Tapos, uh, so lahat na, lahat ng mga nagbabanda na nakilala na or nag, mga rockers na batch. 
Yun. Oy, Chavez, Alcaraz, <laughs> si Nino, kinuha rin. Dito kayo. So, okay. So, ang dami nila. Nag- so, naging honor guards kami. What? <laughs> honor guards. <laughs> Dapat may picture, Migi. Na maniniwala. Kailangan ng picture. <laughs> Dapat pala may picture. I-post mo minsan, kailangan na naka-honor guard picture ka. Hanapin ko yun. Hanapin Kasi, ko yun. honor guard yun yung kailangan bihis na bihis ka eh, diba? Yeah. Tama Tapos lahat yun, eh. Kami yung may routine na may, yung may rifle. May, yeah, may... Yes. Oh. Yun. So, yun. <laughs> yun, naging honor guards kami. Tapos, uh, yun, like, we had like the, the white side go. And then all that we had to learn the routine. We had the special uniform. <laughs> so yun. Pero uh, okay naman. Nagi mo sa naman yun. Because we were just wala na katambil na kami most of the time. Pero yung physical training like, wild. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> so nung so, nung era ng Revenge of the Giant Robot, lomo bas yung MTV nung Sink or Swim. Ano yung, mm-hmm. ano, parang medyo ano siya eh, para, were you signed then or hindi pa? I think we were signed na. I would, I would like to think we were signed, otherwise we wouldn't have the budget to, to, to uh, make that video. Parang uh, ano eh, iba, iba talaga yung video, tas parang I think it added on to the, to the following nung parang, cult, kumbaga cult pa nung time na yun na parang grabe yung video. So ano yung masabi mo about dun sa... It's the same video. It was uh, fun. Fun siya. Like, it was our first music video. And that was, uh, it was shot in a uh, mall fun. It, it's, I think it's the same set as, a, I think there's a Moonstar video na same. It, it was in the same place. That was fun siya. That was set pa. That was pagdating namin dun. Wow. I think we're pros. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. pro Who directed it? Uh, Lyle? It was Lyle. Si Lyle sa Chris. Directs yeah. Lyle sa Chris. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Kasi, ayun, tama. I'm pretty sure we were signed by then kasi we were talking nga to Boss Bob about the video. Oh, sino gusto yung director again? And then we like, ay, gusto namin gumawa ng teeth shooting mm-hmm. star. Si Lyle ba yun? So, Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, I didn't know that. Cool. Yeah. Mahaba so, pa buhok ni Mike doon eh. <laughs> <laughs> Ayun, eh, nakita na. Oh, gusto namin. Ganda ng look eh. Like, ah, okay. Sige, ganyan natin. Back in the days when, you know, labels would be like, yeah, okay, we'll make it happen. <laughs> Back in the day. So, yeah, we got, uh, and then we shot it. And, yun, early morning call time hanggang gabi. Then we were soaking wet because it was shot in a pool. Uh, tapos, may aso pa. May, may, <laughs> may big dog pa dyan. Tapos, uh, tapos uh, I think, I don't know. Tapos, meron pa dun yung scene na si Calde binato yung TV. <laughs> And that was supposed to be me. But, I was such a skinny kid back then. <laughs> I couldn't carry the TV. No way. <laughs> Omigi, ito, batong yung TV. Alright! Pagdating, di yata. <laughs> Skinny kid, man. What, what are you doing, man? Tapos, wala, it was, a, it was a fun experience. Tapos, naiinisa na, dami palang takes to. At nakapagod palang mag-shoot. Yeah, it's, a, it's such a long process. It's And film, then, di ba? Film pa nun. Yeah, yeah. I think Lyle liked to use film eh, back back in that time. Tapos ano, nag-insert pa siya ng ano, fight fight club uh, type mga uh, ganung ganun graphics. Yung, yung mga mabibilis lang na Easter Easter egg. Yes, Easter egg na <laughs> pornography. So, <laughs> I don't know if you, if, if you guys saw that or yun. So nilagay natin ng counting in. Oh, grabe, edgy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You know, we were like, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. So yeah, it was, it was fun, it was fun. Yeah. So I wanna, ask, just, yeah. I wanna ask you about, because we worked on on the next record. Yes. Taps, I, I've always loved your your writing and your melodies. 
are do they all do they yes yes and this is honest this is very honest do they do you do they come at the same time or do you work on them separately what's your what's your process or it has different ways of appearing in your head paano paano ka pa, what's your process like the song like the whole song or like yung mga melodies lang or the melodies yeah, yeah. How, how how does it work for you do well, the lyrics come first or the melodies come first or ah uh, well i uh, i used to have a notebook okay like i just write and write and write and write and then although ngayon na wala na notebook so it's just in my notes app uh which is not very cool pero wala <laughs> Uh, ayun, uh, pag nagja-jam kami, like, so Mong would come in usually with a riff or an idea and then we'd flesh it out sa, sa Jamie's studio. And then we'd record it. And then, sabi, oh, Mong, send, can you send me the file? And then, ayun, so bye. Like, especially now, uh, bye ka lang. So send it to me, tapos pahinggan ko sa, paulit-ulit lang, paulit-ulit. Humming, yan, hmm, tapos, as so record all in dito sa, sa recording app. Tapos, so may place may placeholder na lyrics like fake fake words. Meron na. din, meron. Okay, okay. Or parang or like ano lang, nonsense. Mm-hmm. Nonsense like that is nonsense. And then tapos if 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 I'm if I'm working on like may mga notes ako na bago like to check ko ba, baka pwede. You know like maybe if there's or or I could look through my notes if there's a line na I want to start from. Oh. Okay. And then, yeah. So start from there and then, uh, na, develop maybe an, the idea or, yun. Uh, so I guess to answer your question, I think melodies first. Okay. So music yeah. first because you guys develop it as a band. Somebody comes with a riff. You guys work on the music, and then you take home the music and work on the melody, and then fit the lyrics to the melody. That's yes. Parang ganon. Okay. Then uh, kasama dun yung edit, edit, edit. Mm-hmm. Like oh, uh, I think okay lang to na cut natin in half, and then I send notes. I text ko si Mong oh, ito yung notes. Baka pwedeng putuli natin ganyan. And then haba natin to. So yun. But there's no re- there's no like strict method no yes no. yes of course of you course. know because there there are no rules <laughs> so yeah which is the beauty of it how about sa ano sa pagwrite ng lyrics parang napansin ko palaging parang poetic yung mga verses niyo tapos nagpo talaga ng picture saan mo nakuha yung experience skill or yung bakit gan- ganun mo gusto magsulat hmm um well, I always say this as a joke, like, when people, like, comment on it, ayoko kasi masayang yung pinagpangpwisyon ng parents ko to send me to my <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I, I tend to, like, be really hard on myself when writing lyrics. Uh, pag, pag binabasa ko, dapat pag binabasa ko, I, okay, okay. I, I go through so much, like, editing. Dami talaga, like, Alam ko, minsan may mga iba na like, kung ano yung na, like, ano nga, yan. Yeah, that, that, that's cool, you know, like, uh, pero ako, edit talaga ako edit, like, I write it down, tapos, babalik ako siya the next day. Do, does it still sound cool? Like, or does it still sound good for me the next day? Same goes with melodies. Eh? So, pag sa lyrics, uh, and when I write lyrics, like, I have to go back to, like, this word ba pang hindi at tapos even now like yung mga nasulat na na record na like it's out there oh. na in the world when I listen to ah oh, I should have used you know like, so do you do you do you change the lyrics to suit you now <laughs> you mean live like live yes yes Parang, do you because do you believe in that a uh, song is never a finished work do you I change that. it now? I believe that. Okay. So, do you still, do you change the lyrics to suit you? Kasi para, ah, nakikringe ka na dun sa line na yun na okay lang 20 years ago nung bata ka pa. Because I, I do. Because I, I can't sing okay. that now. I'll change it to suit me without destroying the the song. Yeah, yeah. Parang, do you do that? Um, 
Maybe, maybe like sometimes, yeah. Pero mostly like, wala, ito na eh. <laughs> but, but it's just, it's just in, like internally na, dapat pala, hindi ko sinulat to, dapat pala, I chose this <laughs> other. <laughs> Ikaw ba, Rings? May ganyan ka ba? Like, when you listen. All the time. All the okay. time. Okay. That's why I, I change it live. You see it, yeah. but I'll just change the whole verse live. I don't care. Yeah. As long as it doesn't, uh, di ba, parang, well, hindi mo naman binastos yung song. I change man, complete man. verses. Oh, yeah? Yes. Okay. Man, ako, especially kami nung, like, our first, uh, like, our first album, like, I was just an angry kid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, seriously, like, it's just anger and, like, and if I wrote that stuff down now, <laughs> I'd be called out, man. <laughs> <laughs> you can get called out. You'll get canceled. You'll get canceled. No, oh, <laughs> Especially, like, the circumstances, like, uh, when writing the, the first album. Oh, man. But, yeah, like, but it was honest. You know, like, I gotta say, it was honest. Pero, eh, like, when we perform that stuff, I'm like, okay. I, ganun talaga eh. You know, but uh, it was nice and honest and aggressive. And I, I think, I like, I'd like to keep that. You know, the, you know, the pagka-aggressive niya. Like, masaya eh. So, we still would like, we still like to keep the youthful, uh, the youthfulness of <laughs> the early songs. Yeah. So, moving uh, after ng ano, after ng Revenge of the Giant Robot, uh, moving on to Methods of Breathing, no? Uh, yung Paris nag-hit siya ng, uh, nag-hit siya ng, uh, I think more than 52 weeks, parang ganun sa NU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yung masabi mong uh, experience mo writing that particular song. And I think also for Reims, he was part of the production process, right? So yes, you can chime in or you, as well, parang yun. Well, yung Paris, it's such a simple song, and uh, ayun like I, I remember one time he rings like he was telling, "Ate melody mo," like so he he's playing it on the keyboard. Dun, 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 dun. Oh wow, no, this is just two notes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just two notes, like so nice, like. Okay, ang simple lang pala, but yeah, I don't know, I think sometimes like the simplest songs like they're the best, you know, and uh, tapos yung riff niya, it's nothing like it's not like, it's nothing like that. It's like it's madali, eh. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't necessarily say now when I heard it, it's like, oh, this could be a hit again, but I, I think, I remember saying Oh, ito. like you know, I think we're onto something here, and and it was all, and I also felt na wow, I think we can do more than just like heavy new metal stuff. Pwede pala, like like all these possibilities, because I that was like the same time we started listening to more melodic stuff, um, like uh, glass jaw or. Uh, uh, maybe quicksand, but uh, yeah, like, do not open talaga yung possibilities. And uh, big thanks, to, like, you know, rings, you know, like encouraging that na you can do that. And uh, there's still a lot of new metal stuff then on that album, but like, especially like Paris and uh, Glass Broken. I think we felt that wow, we can do like, we can break out of like whatever label or box we were in so I remember, yeah, that, yeah i remember parang we really didn't know what we were doing but we were willing to try things you guys and so just make it as heavy as fuck like he's <laughs> gotta make it heavier or or super parang contrast diba? yeah it's either yeah. super heavy or super weird like super jazzy or super soft and yes, gentle yes. But we were always going for the heaviest bass and the heaviest drums, dialing the heaviest guitar yeah. sounds. And something to contrast it, which is nice melodies, diba? Parang. Yeah. Yeah. And lyrics so, uh, that you can actually understand. 
not yeah. just for Raja, 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 Raja. Cause that, I think that's easy, eh? Di ba? Madali lang yun, eh. What, what was he saying? I don't know, but it was pure emotion. But for this one, para, oh, I can actually hear what he's saying. <laughs> Di ba? Yeah. In... Well, yeah, like, um, yeah, if if we're if you're gonna make it heavy, let's make it really heavy. If we're gonna make it, if we're gonna make it pretty, let's make it really pretty. You know? yeah, and yeah. So and we we tried everything in the studio. I remember. Tapos yung mga kahit yung percussion, yung yung stand, yung yung stand ng ng no ng papel, the dialogue or whatever, whatever we could get our hands on. You know, percussion natin. And la, it was a it was a fun time in the studio. And, and parang na feel talaga namin na we can do anything like creatively we can try anything and we did I think we did try almost everything everything <laughs> and the kitchen sink <laughs> and, and, and the kitchen sink kitchen sink so that was a really good experience for uh, for us and I hope James Anna nag enjoy ka rin no? <laughs> I had a lot of fun <laughs> yun and uh, and I think and I think we did. The, we made a really, really good album. And, and yeah. Calde was dissing my skinny jeans. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Because that's so crazy. Because you know, in the old days, we, ano kami, pal, palaki yan ng pants and the jean coats and all that. And then yeah, Rames, you were with uh, skinny jeans. Tapos, eventually, Calde would have the skinniest jeans. The skinniest, the skin skin, type, even skinnier than yours. Painted on. <laughs> then, like, like, talaga. I mean, we would start wearing like smaller jeans as well. But si Calde, dude. In yung mga ano yun, pag sumikat na si Pete Wentz. Eh. You know, and then he would be like, yeah, man. Tapos, we're skinny, skinniest jeans. Tapos kita mo yung magkano yung barya niya sa bulsa. <laughs> And and you would know if it was heads or tails. Tama <laughs> talaga. <laughs> yeah, the skinniest jeans, like uh, saya, saya, saya. And the tightest shirts, say mga ganyan. Cap sleeves, say mga ganyan. Galing. <laughs> but before that, we had the biggest. We we wore the largest clothing. <laughs> I know, fashion and music, pa. <laughs> So after ng after ng uh, methods of breathing, I think shallow graves yung next na naging single nyo. Yeah. Uh, what was it like working with Quark naman for the video? Si Quark. Uh, Quark. Uh, Milk trivia. Siya yung una naming manager. Oh. First, yeah, he was our first manager. Uh, ano yata yeah, niya siin din yun so. Uh, Tapos yun na, uh, wala, sige, game manager. Tapos, I think, I posted like an Instagram few few months back na, ayun nga, may gig kami out of town sa Lucy Quark. <laughs> sa lahaba ng buhok namin. Tapos, wala lang, fun times. Pero ayun nga, siya yung nag-direct uh, Shallow Graves. It was in the Viva office. Ayun. Tapos, ayun, yun yung start ng ano. Pagtipid. <laughs> But yeah, so it was in the Viva office. Tapos para siyang PSA na na office. Ay, may mga guard na corporate. Na, yeah, corporate. Yeah. Tapos ang haba ng buhok ko nun. Rockers na rockers na rockers na nun, man. Because <laughs> prior to that, I had dreadlocks. So, anyway. <laughs> tapos, yeah. Then, yeah, we did the Shallow Graves. But I think that was the only video from that album. Um, yeah. Tapos eh, yung album yun, uh, yung Acres na Shinji na yun. It was uh, recorded uh, yung sa Luma. Sa, hindi, na, hindi pa yung ano, Kodama. Yun. But yeah. Tapos, yeah. yeah that, was a, that was a strange album for us, actually. Why? Well, I, I guess you want, like, a lot of, or not, if not most bands go through the, like maybe you're going through the motions or like you're not re- necessarily getting along with your bandmates. So I guess it was a tough time for us. Uh, 
Tapos... May personal changes ba doon sa album na yun? Wala naman, ano? May umalis? For to... mm, wala. Umalis na ba si Joel? Umalis na no, ba no, si no, to, still Joel. to abroad? Okay. He's still Joel. Si Hugh. But, uh... Yes, Hugh was still there. Okay. Still there. But, uh, yun. It, it wasn't... Ay, yung, kumbaga, yung banda, hindi pa siya, hindi siya as solid as before that. <laughs> You know, like personal stuff, and it 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 takes its toll on, and it sometimes it carries over to the album or the recording. But uh, yeah, but ah, uh, para marami naman ako, but marami ng messages from people na saying they they that's their favorite album, again again, like just surprising seriously. Pero are you trying to be edgy? <laughs> <laughs> The uh, the most obscure one is my favorite. Sige na, okay, sige. I'll take it, man. <laughs> you know? But yun nga, I think we play like only one or two songs from that album. It's and I think it was more a little more experimental than others. You know. But yeah. Oh, man, I'm still I'm still proud of it. What were you listening to be when you were making that album that made you try uh go more experimental than usual? Mm. What did you discover? Well, I think more it was more more melodic stuff then and more weird stuff. Cuz it I, I like from method nga, like we listen to met, metal like heavy stuff. And also at the same time, more melodic stuff and pop. Pero dito naman same same thing. Pero like we we discover more and more bands. Uh, tapos we maybe I probably in Mong side na he he discovered a little more like maybe progressive stuff or jazzy stuff. But for me personally, uh, yeah, like more a little more hardcore stuff. Metal for uh, little emo, you know. Maybe that's where it started, or basa method palang start na. But uh, yeah, every time I die, uh, Candiria. What else did we listen to? I remember Simon gave me uh, or let me listen to Meshuga during that time. So, Ayun, so like, there. Ayun, parang, like, yung mga, ah, hmm. yung mga, and I still love it to this day. Yeah. To this day, I would. Casually listen by I want something weird. I'd listen to Meshuga. And it's, yeah. just, it's just cinematic for me. It's it's heavy and cinematic yeah. and yeah. Yeah. But you know, like you know, some good thing you mentioned Meshuga. You know, we started playing with the uh, weird time signatures. Time signatures. Yeah. Um and the main song then I think there's a song that starts off with this like a seven. I, I don't know the number. But uh, yeah, that's where we start. Like, I think it was a little more experimental than most for albums. So. Maybe that that explains why it, <laughs> not not a lot of people like. <laughs> Moving on sa ano dun sa Chico Sai album naman. But medyo marami kayong singles from there, like A Promise yeah. and then Black Roses. Would you say na uh, parang may nabasa ako somewhere na parang it's touted as your best? album i'm not sure kung if you feel the same way what could you what can you say about that one yeah, well yeah a lot of people like it uh yun talaga eh, also i think that's when we start like getting more exposure getting more gigs kasi pang from method yun like we yeah, you know we started getting more gigs uh maybe pero like uh, nung nga yung after method medyo bumaba like I think the whole scene was like you know and then and then uh, around the time na nung lumabas yung self-titled namin that's the time na yun nga like band started getting hot again that was when like the poggy rock thing uh, started getting popular and then ayun I guess it's like Chikusai being a band, it's like, oh, it's a band. <laughs> But uh, like, we just tried to, kami naman, nag, ano, nag-regroup kami. Like, we talked to them, like, we talked to them, like, ano guys, let's do this, you know, we wanna, we wanna, let's just make the best songs possible. 
uh, and I think I, I think it was called there. So let's just make songs uh, like they can't deny. You know, doesn't have to be heavy. Doesn't have to be this. Doesn't have to be that. Let's just make songs. And I think that was because like because <clears throat> nung yun nga, like coming from Icarus, I think let's just let's try this weird stuff. Let's try this heavy thing. Let's try this. Yeah. But when we were trying to write the self-titled, let's just make songs, man. You know? Tapos, ayun, uh, and I think, like, oh, I love, I love pop music. You know, like, especially like growing up na parang wala, hindi pa uso yung net, hindi pa uso yung internet. So, like, what you hear on the radio, that's it. What, what, you know, you know your friends listen to, that's it. What you're, Your elders listening, that's it. So, like, a lot of Michael Jackson, um, Madonna, all that. So, I, I love pop music and I love a good hook, you know. So, yeah, I try to, I try to incorporate that and I still try to do that till now. So, nung self-titled, just, let's just write songs, let's just write good melodies, let's just write good riffs and then Yeah, that's that's that in you know mentality namin going into it. And that was the first time that we we recorded sa Tower of Doom. Mm. Uh And then, yeah, it was such a great experience then. And Jeff is Eric, the producer namin and schoolmate and we've known him since, you know, college pa. Uh, it was a fun time and uh, what was and, what was going on in your lives? personally na that made you decide to to call it kasi di ba para it's it's a third album pero that's the first one you called na na self titled what was going on did you just like uh finish school or naging parents what was happening around that time mm. uh, we were out of school na med- like maybe a couple a few, a few years na okay so parang i i guess at the time like You try to navigate na ano do I get like adulthood adult yeah na. yeah you know you're trying to transition you know, get a job na again. especially since the young acres like like the the scene like at the time was not not so good so I don't know like do we do we still do this do we do we get jobs you know <laughs> but you know na yung like I said we nagregroup kami and like it's okay let's do this man. And we had, you know, and ano yun, tsaka independent yun. We, had, we didn't have a label. We got dropped oh, by, okay. by Viva. So I'll say, let's do it. And then, you know, Eric gave us an opportunity to, like, as, you know, record that it's a power. And tapos yung, <clears throat> everything was us. Like, it's independent. Tapos yung, yung, uh, yung album cover, like the white one, the white album cover. Did you make that? Then, Did you? Yeah, that was I, like the like, like a digital camera. I I borrowed my mom's rosary, put it like, put it on a piece of white paper and like just took it. <laughs> and tapos edit edit lang. Well, like, it's like DIY talaga. Tapos pati yung lunch kami nagayos, you know, and all that. So so kung bago nag all in kami at the time, like sige, okay, let's do this, you know. And uh, for the most part, I think it worked. You know, <laughs> we were able to make a few more albums after that. So, oh, okay, then because uh, eventually, nag, we got picked up by uh, MCA for a uh, for a distribution deal. So, nagri yung self title nag labas kami ng repackaged with Ooh. both tracks. You know, <laughs> so yeah, okay then. Na, nabanggit mo kanina si si Madonna. Actually, napansin ko like yung Chico Sai ever since the first album. Parang you, you guys are one of the bands that really I don't know if it's uh parang sinasadya or parang basta you guys evolve parang album by album. Ano yung hmm. inspiration niyo to evolve or parang do you feel the need to evolve? Um Well, ano kasi, like, parang yung kuneto that kanina, yung, yung first, yung Revenge 
man, that's just a snot-nosed kid be really, really angry, but life and girls. <laughs> and, you know, when you get older, you're like, ah, I'm okay. <laughs> Everything turned out okay. So, you know. You... <laughs> but then you find more things to get angry about. <laughs> no, but seriously, but, you know, you start writing about different things and then you start being open to different kinds of music. And then, Like Simong, like he was always interested in, in jazz, you know. Oh, let's, you know, maybe we can do this. Maybe we can incorporate this. Like, tapos, oh, like before, when you, bata hang rockers, like, ay, di pwede yung pop na yan. That, that's not cool, man. That's not cool. And then, <laughs> di, dapat, you know, galit. But eventually, you know, like, <laughs> oh, I, I like this, like, I like this hook, like this Michael Jackson hook. I like this, you know, this beat, this, So, pasok yan, you know, like, eventually you just learn that you can do anything, you, you know, you don't give a fuck, just pasok mo yan, like, you, you, you like this, this, this Prince lick, sige, you know, be, inspi- be inspired by it, do it, you know, like, you like, like, Toxic by Britney Spears, which is a really, really great I song. I love that song. Way. Diba? Who produ- is so, that the Neptunes? Is that the Neptunes, Toxic? Um, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure of that, but I know. I know Max, Max something. Ah, uh, the the sweet Swedish yeah. mafia. Ayun. Since since we're talking about albums, Darren, what's we have a portion, eh, diba? Yeah. Okay. Yung five albums that shaped uh, your, I guess your you and you you as you you never my your, life <laughs> your life <laughs> my life. So would you Ayun. care to share? Yeah. Ko yun, pare. <laughs> oh, good, good. Mas okay. yan. So number one, no particular order. Okay, okay. Pero, pero no ranking, na, no ranking, no ranking. Pero ang hirap nga ng five lang eh. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi kung more, tatlong oras tayo mag-usap. <laughs> oh, oh, eh. <laughs> yeah, like, hirap na hirap ako, like, sali ko ba to? <laughs> Or I know, so I, anyway, so I tried to. I, the number one is uh, Nirvana in utero. Mm. Ah, in utero. I huh? never mind. Yeah, everyone's like, why, 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 why? Explain. Ganda yan. Eh, mahirap din ah, mahirap din. Never mind daw in utero. Like, pero never, never mind. Like, yeah, sige. So, so every, but what an album. So, so yung ab. Naalala ko pa yun eh. Binili ko yung cassette nun sa galeria before uh, watching a movie with my parents which was uh, My Girl. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so, binili ko muna yan like, bago kami makit. Binili ko yan. So, never mind. Kasi uh, sa so, Odyssey wala. sa ground floor. Sa ground Kat- floor. Katabi yun. ng escalator. Yes! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, yun nga, binili, binili ko yun, never, never mind. Because everyone was talking about never mind. Uh, that's what you read about in uh, the local rock magazines. Uh, may naala ko, rock and rhythm. Rock and rhythm. Rock and rhythm. Uh, so, ganun, I, that's how I got, I, that's how I got my new music back in the day. Like, kung nabinabasa ko, without, without hearing a note. If it looks cool, If, it, if the band name sounds cool, sige, it's fucking happy. Yan. Hanap tayong think. So that's how, it, that's how it was before. But yeah, I got, I got never mind. So, yung ganda na album. Ganda. Tapos, syempre, hintayin mo yung next. So it's next, you know, what, what, what they're gonna come out with next. Snow was in new. I was like, what? It was crazy. It was, it was dirtier. It was heavier. Dirtier. Dirtier. Like, <laughs> pero, andyan yung melodies, andyan yung hooks. Like, okay, ito, ito yun. Like, you know, and I, I think that that, uh, that planted the seed na you can be heavy, you can be really noisy and dirty, but you can have like that new prettiness underneath all that, like the hook. So, yun, and and Kurt Cobain, And I think he's the first, he was my first uh, guitar hero. Because <laughs> I, 
Uh, he's lefty, lefty, you know. Oh my god, lefty. And he and he and you must song say simple. Like three four chords lang. But they galing. They really work. So simple lang, hindi naman siya hindi naman siya Steve Vai na you know. <laughs> you know <laughs> may no offense, you know, that's that's your thing. But me like, you know, just want to riff, you just want to Uh, so I just, I just want to play like three chords. So and then yun uh pero yung lumabas yung neutral like oh grabe. Tapos yung video pa ng heart shape box ganda. <laughs> Tapos sa MTV hindi hindi nila pinapakita yung buo. Cuz I guess it was like too controversial. Oh, now Kasi I gotta like, watch it on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> hindi ko alam, hindi ko alam yun. yun hindi pa lang kompleto. I think they just did like the first verse and the chorus. That's it. That's it. Tempre ko so ano nangyari bakit yun lang you know so you want like that added to like the main thoughts of it uh, you know like I want to learn more about this yeah you can but you can't research it you can't go on google like ano nangyari dito so okay number two. ito isa pang mahirap uh, I know a lot of people would say white pony pair for me it's deaf tones around the fur Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I see. I see. Good, yeah. good, good choice. Uh, yun. Same same thing with uh, yung I never mind to a new thoroughly. Because the first album of Deftones Adrenaline, you know, I bought it. Tapos kinahinga ko like, yun yung una, yun yung time na naisip ko, pwede pala to gawin. May mga ganito palang banda na, you know. Tapos, but it was really raw like the production wasn't that great tapos and then but you, you got I got curious enough like okay sundo ko tong bandang to you know let's see what 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 what, what they have next snow ba yung um, around the fur and then they came out with uh, my own summer tapos yung tupak it's okay whoa Act this with better production. Pa. I'm still playing that drum feel. Tumpak. <laughs> yeah, like, if somebody if somebody makes a break and nobody knows when to come in, you just play tumpak and everybody knows where yeah. the one is. <laughs> diba? Diba? Yeah. Recognizable. Tumpak. It's so simple. What the heck? So again, it goes back to like the simplest things, man. The simplest things. Tatatak talaga yun. Tapos, ayun, uh, pairing riff. Oh, wow! The heck! Nakakabaliw! <laughs> <laughs> Tapos, ayun, and then, and that, on that album, we also had uh, Be Quiet and Drive, which is really melodic, and like, tas yung guitar is atmospheric pa, and they had more songs like that, atmospheric, and really like, Weird melodies, na ganda. Like, man, this is crazy. Gusto ko ganyan. <laughs> Di ba, ganyan yung pagbata. Gusto ko ganyan, gawa tayo na ganyan. Ganyan kayo. So, kami, kami nila mong nilakal din. Like, Sige, okay. Gawa tayo ganyan. Ganyan. Hindi so, pa cancelled si Stephen Carpenter. Eh. <laughs> kaso, kaso, uh, anti-vax. Uh, Hindi ba siya anti-vaxxer? <laughs> Tsaka uh, flat earther, eh, di ba? Hindi ba siya flat earther? <laughs> Kuto po nang to troll lang siya o total talaga ganoon. Baka know. nang to troll lang siya. Baka. baka. But uh, you know, I like the guy for his, you know, music not I agree, necessarily I agree. for his beliefs. <laughs> <laughs> we're not hanging out with him. <laughs> yeah, we're not. Hey, you know, like if if you follow a musician for for his or her beliefs, pili ko marami ka nang di mo <laughs> Madami talaga eh. That's, yeah. that's a different episode. That's a that's different, a different episode. episode. Yeah. Ika nga, never meet your heroes. Mm. Yeah. So, album 3. Album 3. Uh, okay. Ayan. Michael Jackson. Dangerous. Ah, dangerous. Yes. Yeah. Everyone's gonna say thriller or bad. Pero dangerous. Kasi I think that's the time na parang, you know, like, kasi I, bad thriller lumabas yun before I was actively like searching you know what I mean pero yung dangerous yun tsaka yung marketing nun grabe tapos 
you had all these posters, uh, record bars. Oh, sige, sapatan natin. Tapos, uh, yun, like, ang ganda rin ng, ganda ng production. The hooks who, are... Who, who produced that? Teddy <laughs> Riley ba? Yung siya ba yung New Jack? New Jack City New Jack South? Swing, yeah. New Jack New Swing, Jack yeah. Si Teddy yeah. Riley nga ata. Eh. There you go. So... Who discovered, I just found out yesterday, who discovered uh, the Neptunes? Okay. In Virginia. So parang yan yung ninong nila, si Teddy Riley. So yun like, na yung... If we're not mistaken. Confirmed. Okay. Confirmed sa Google, Teddy Riley. Teddy Riley. Oh. There siya. you go. I just listened to the podcast ni si Rick Rubin interviewing Farrell. Oh, yeah. Si Farrell was sabi niya. Siya yung Ka- Teddy Riley. Ka, two days ago lang lumabas yung podcast. Eh. Si Ted Riley nga ang ano, nag-discover sa Neptunes. When he was Ayun. working with Michael Jackson. Okay. Parang, parang ganun. Okay. Next album. So, okay, next album. Uh... Ayan. Uh, it was it's glass jaw. Oh, so good. Every one. wanted to know about silence. Oh, it's a good one. And then in uh bef- at the time puro new metal nung lumalabas. There everyone was a corn clone mm-hmm. or a deftones clone. Tapos na That happens like eh, pag may uso na nasasaturate eh. Everyone's trying to be like the the next corn, the next Ganyan. Yeah. So, <clears throat> tapos, eto, lumabas like four, like, five hardcore kids from Long Island. Tapos, tapos, uh, si Ross Robinson pa nag-produce ng uh, album na to. The de- eh, kami, is, like, isn't he the Deftones producer? Uh, Korn. Korn producer. Yeah, yeah, he Korn. was a producer for Korn. Although he did a, de- a demo with Deftones. Anyway, Korn producer siya. Tapos, oh. yung, yung, First couple albums on Slipknot. Siya rin. So, like, yun nga, uh, yun, susundan namin yung si Ross Robinson. Like, kasi, kasi gusto namin yung mga albums niya eh. Ay, the first Limp Biscuit album din. Mm-hmm. Yan, Ross Robinson. So, like, Glass Joe, Ross Robinson. Oh, ano to? Curious din ako dito. Tapos, si, nababasa mo yun sa mga magazines. Eh. Ano, mas it? Probably Circus or Metal Hammer magazine. Yeah, ano na 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 halos sa mga book sale pa <laughs> <laughs> so yun, glass jaw so, okay spata natin and then at uh, ayon pa pwede ka na magdownload sa mga ano, sa internet uh-huh. man, mga lime wire <laughs> I I just I just googled it my favorite Cure album si Ross Robinson din ang nagproduce yeah oh nag nagproduce yun parang he want he got Robert Smith out of ret- semi-retirement to parang, parang, come on, like, put your heart, uh, kasi an- ano na siya, mellow na siya, eh, mellow, hindi okay. na siya, hindi na sa sad old man, eh, pero pinalabas sa ganda ng album. Anyway, Ayun. carry carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Ross Robinson! <laughs> Bas, you're Robinson! So, uh, so, Napa, dam, nap, ang ganda ng body of work din niya. Ayan, the Cure. He did The Cure. He did uh, Sepultura Roots. Oh, so, siya din yun. Bloody Roots. <laughs> yes, yes. Yung nag-new uh, metal yung Sepultura. Then, any, anyway, so, yung Glass Joe, sige, painggan natin to. And then, we were blown away because, you know, it was, it wasn't, it was so not new metal. It was, it was, it was angry. It was, it was all over the place. It was. Tapos yung vocalist si Daryl Palombo and Idol. Ang galing niya kumanta. And like the emotion that came from his, from his mouth, his voice. Ah, uh, grabe. And then, eh, iba siya. Hindi siya, hindi siya papogi na kumanta or like, hindi siya, hindi siya nananakot. <laughs> Parang si Corey Taylor ng slip na, pag nilig siya, ah, oh, you get intimidated. This one is like, wow, it's like visceral talaga. And like, it's raw emotion. Did you like his other bands? Who's? Daryl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like the Head Automatic. I like uh, it too. I like it. Not, not a lot of Glassjaw fans like Head Automatic. Eh, the profile. Like, it's like groovy and dancey. I, I like it. I, like, I mean, yeah. I don't even... It's like with uh, Dandy Automator. Uh, maganda yung first um, 
So, uh, yun. Ganda rin eh. Tapos, again, like, sa Deftones, naisip din namin at the time, pwede pala to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yun. Uh, parang, lagi kasi may mga, once in a while, may mga bands na, na lumalabas or arts na. It, it makes you realize na, okay, you can do this. Kasi parang, you know, when you're doing something for so long, you like, sometimes you get stuck in a rut. You know? And then some something comes along na, okay, sige. It opens the floodgates. I think that's what happened with us, uh, with Deftones and Vaseline. Uh, so, ayun. That's uh, one of my favorites. And really one of my favorite bands ever. Because, uh, and it, we were really, really lucky. We were fortunate enough to be able to open for them. No, when they had a show in Hong Kong. Glass Joe? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Saya na, like, okay. Tapos, syempre yung opening set namin, bigay na bigay kami. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta prove ourselves. And, tapos, uh, okay. So, album number five will be... Five na uh, ba? Yeah. yeah, five na. Five na, okay, okay. We could go to ten. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, number five, uh, Smashing Pumpkins. Oh. Siamese Dream. Yun. And, uh, yun, like, uh, I mentioned kanina si Kurt Cobain. It's my first guitar hero. I, 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 I guess I could say Billy Corgan was another guitar hero. Kasi grabe, ang ganda ng mga guitarist na doon. Ang ganda ng tone. Ang ganda. Tapos apparently, like, ibang tracks, they got 50, 60 layers. 50, 60 guitar tracks on them. <laughs> Kasi ang dense talaga. Like, uh, although I can't do that, but it, the songs, they made me want to learn them. Uh, but when I when I heard them, like, I want, I want to learn. So bumili ako ng, yun nga, hindi pa uso net, bumili ako ng libro ng tab. Nung Siamese Dream. Uh, I think it was uh, at the Guitar Center in, in the States. Like, that was, uh, am, I, am I back? Okay. Yeah, yes, you're back. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, yun. Bumili ako ng tab. Tapos, I started learning the songs on uh, on acoustic. Kasi <laughs> wala pa gear. Wala na ang gear nun. So, yun. Like, all the ganda ng album, front to back. It's a classic, and uh, some people would say Melancholy's better album. No, like Melancholy, ah, dami kasi, <laughs> <laughs> dami, hindi ko. <laughs> but uh, yun, Siamese Dream of oh, Forever. You know, ang ganda talaga ang ganda ng like how how dense it is, how warm it is. Like, para siyang hinahog yun. <laughs> yeah, yun. So, Butch Vig yan, ano? Butch Vig. Yes, Butch Vig. Ayan. I love Smashing Pumpkins. So. Absolutely. Although, although magkakaway sila ni Kurt Cobain. <laughs> ah, talaga? Hindi ko alam yun. <laughs> I, think it's of, I think it's because of Courtney Love. So. Ah, okay, okay. The Courtney connection. Yeah. Ayan. But uh, if you want me to be on another episode, we'll talk about my top 50. You know? <laughs> we, should, we should do it. We should do another episode with you doing a playlist so you can put it on Spotify and they could listen to what we're talking pwede, about. Pwede. Kasi Kasi not everybody are, diba, are familiar with Glass Joe or yeah, maybe yeah. not a lot of kids now are familiar with Siamese Dream. But we should uh, do that. We should do that, yeah. Darren, no? Tapos, uh, yun nga, like, uh, si Nico Cesar, uh, you've worked with him. I always, like, he's a kid, you know, he's, he's really young. You know, and I always, we always talk and like, you know, I was, hey man, you should listen to Tool, like Alice in Chains, you know. He so does. Like, he does. See Nico does the photos for for Chico Sai. Yeah, and he did for sandwich. And, and for I, sandwich and ultra combo too. I really like his work with you guys. That's why I hired yeah. him. Yeah. Good, he's, he's, good kid. Shout out yeah, to Nico. Nico. He's a singer then, de right? Isn't he? Yeah. Singer? He has a band yes. called Fragments, and Fragments. I think they they're coming up with an album. Oh, talaga. Mm-hmm. Or That's what he's posting. How yeah, long foreign yeah. bands yung pinopost niya? Banda niya na pala yung fragments. Yeah, yeah, it's a band. Like, you're a heavy, heavy band. But yeah, so, yeah, and sometimes he asks me, ano mong okay? Like, oh, man. <laughs> Here we go. The old man in music. Oh, 
music back in the day. Listen to Ministry. <laughs> Listen to Tool. Alice in Chains. <laughs> so, yun. Uh, I don't know. I just love talking about, like, I love like, recommending stuff. Na, hey, should I try listening to this. You know? I also love getting recommendations. So, he, he gives me like, yung mga new albums, like new bands. So, yun nga, and if, kung gawa tayo episode na, you know, gawa tayo episode na, di, di ko pa napapag-usapan yung Slayer, yung The Blood Brothers, <laughs> yung Sepultura, Alice in Chains. I, I was waiting for The Blood Brothers. Yeah. I was waiting for The Blood yeah, Brothers. Yeah, wala, wala sa lista mo eh. Wala sa top five. Wala sa top five. So, uh, and Ross Robinson din yun. Yeah. We, so, yeah, we should go <laughs> back. We should come back for a music episode lang. Talking about uh, yeah, dude. album Seriously. episode with Migi. Yeah. No, Darren? <laughs> Pwede. Pwede yan, man. So, wala. Tuloy-tuloy lang yan. I could go on all day. Tapos, wala pa. Ta- We haven't talked about uh, my hip-hop roots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. And, be- dis- and your disco punk band. We still yeah, haven't yeah. talked about that. Kasi, man, before before naging rockers, I, I was exposed to uh, hip-hop because in Cousin Core from the States, he brought home his mixtape. And it had like a uh, mga 90s or earlier that pa na hip hop we got Fushnikins, um Das Effects, Black Sheep, mga ganun. So like I listened to a lot of hip hop before even like listening to uh like the heavier stuff. And yeah, and then you got Public Enemy. It's it ah dami pa. <laughs> so ayun. But uh that's for another day, I guess. Thank you for coming taking time. Yeah. Oh, oh no, guys. Thank you. Thank you for uh, you, having me. Do you have anything uh, new for Chico side to promote before we let you go? Um. Well, we're still working on stuff. Uh. You know. Are Are you playing shows? Well, we did a couple for uh music laban Red Horse. Red Horse. Uh, yes. Yeah. And uh. Ayun, how, kasi, how will they get in touch of you? In touch with you, tama ba yun? How will they get in touch with you? Yon. Ah, uh, well, di ko abisad ng number pero they can. But who, uh, who, who si manages you guys? Si Dada, okay. Yeah. Just look so, for Dada Chico sa Facebook, ganon. Yeah, the Facebook you just send a uh, message sa Facebook namin. Tapos yung number ni Dada. I know it's in my Instagram bio, so don yun. But yeah, I guess you can just message to. I'll, I'll put it on the on the episode. So. Sige, um, yun. Okay. Or you can send me graph. Yeah, that, <laughs> down here, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, share and subscribe. Share, yeah. But uh, yeah. Pero yun, yeah, just send a message. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Di pa natin na pag-usapan to pala. I yeah. know. Yeah, you are good. So yun nga yun yung sinabi nga ni ni Darren na oh, he asked five uh, albums. Five <laughs> lang. Like, took, me, took me a while. <laughs> But, yun. So, yun, wala pa yung Misfits, wala pa yung uh, mga Black Flag. <laughs> wala pa. So, anyway, just, yun, just uh, message us on Facebook, follow. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, we're just, we're just, uh, at, uh, currently, we're just writing, just throwing ideas back and forth. You know, buti na lang, I don't know. May technology. <laughs> I can just send files. You know. Yeah. I don't know anything? how they, I I don't know how they, they would do it. Before. <laughs> yeah, before. Yeah. Ikaw da rin. Meron ka pang, meron ka ng parting words. Uh, Merry Christmas sa mga tao na <laughs> may ikinig na to next week. And to you guys. Meron bang nakikinig sa atin na bago from from other places mainly pa na check, pero medyo marami na rin yung countries eh. so kailangan kailangan natin ilista yung mga ibang oh, countries oh. din ano para next episode promise oh lista niyo tapos lahat ng greeting ng merry christmas <laughs> ng bawat tao yeah <laughs> pero english lang lahat hindi <laughs> <laughs> malamang pin, malamang pinoy yun eh diba? <laughs> oh, mga i well, think yeah. mga Pilipinos abroad <laughs> mm. Okay, good to see you guys. Hope to yeah. see you soon in the flesh. Yeah, Miggy, nice. take care. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you guys and to everyone. Uh, watch. Be nice. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.